Kimmy the Gadget Goddess, and I am here to give you my one week in with the Vivo X Flip. I've been carrying it alongside the Oppo Find N2 Flip. A lot of people have asked for comparisons between these two. It's only been a week. It's going to be a very rough comparison for just a week, but I'll give you my likes, dislikes, what I'm liking form factor wise and everything else. So let's get into it one week in. Let's go. Everybody's first question is, which one do you like better? And it's really hard to say which one you like better when you've only had one phone for a little bit of time and the other phone you've been carrying like a couple months. So let's uh, get into basics. Form factor wise, I can definitely tell the difference when I hold both of these in my hands. This phone is more of a squared off kind of deal, whereas this phone is more rounded off and it's wider. It might not appear to be wider, like they have, they both have cases on right now, but I think it's just the form factor. Like the Oppo is just a thicker device and it's not as rounded off, it's more square. So just comfort wise in the hand, when I'm blasting off text messages and everything else with this phone, it's just a little more comfortable. As you can see, I'm still waiting on my matte screen protectors for this one because the gloss is real. Um, I really do enjoy the matte on this phone. So, you know, I'll, I'll continue to wait. But <laughs> right now, you know, being my main sim is here, I do a lot more on this phone versus this phone. I have taken a couple pictures I'll throw in here for you. Um, I haven't taken any pictures like this phone versus this phone i will do that in my next video this is just like hey i've had it a week and here's what i want to tell you first off i will answer this one strange question i have received from a lot of people can i answer calls while the phone is closed and i can do that on both phones i had people tell me that they would go buy or they were going out to buy this phone so that means they're not here in the states of course but they went out to buy this phone and they were told they could not answer phones from the outer screen that is definitely a negative. You can answer calls on both of these phones. It will pick up on speaker, of course, because you don't have the phone open to receive the call, but you can answer calls on both of these without opening the phone. So let's get that out the way. I had five or six people ask me that. I thought that was rather strange. I don't get into crease debates. People are really funny about that, but I don't really think it's fair to give a crease debate until I get a matte screen protector on these two. I think they're about the same, but this one would appear to be more shallow because it's a matte screen protector. This is a very reflective um, protector, so it's going to look like, you know, it's really deep. Since I got away from using Samsung kind of folds and flips, I don't notice creases in my phone anymore. My Xiaomi, my Oppo Find N2, my flips, you know, I just don't. So... Even in usage, I'm not really feeling that. They're phones, they're foldables. And as I tell people, when you fold a piece of paper, it has a crease in it. So I don't know how people are thinking they're gonna get this wonderful creaseless design out of a foldable phone. Yes, less you know noticeable, but when it comes to like, oh, it's not gonna be there at all, I really don't think you're gonna ever get that from a foldable phone. Deal with it. Let me just cover the Vivo X Flip because, you know, comparisons are cute and everything, but I really want to save that for like review, review, right? Okay, so these are some of my slight likes, dislikes, whatever, just a week within having a phone. I purchased this phone to use the outer screen. So I thought it was going to be more so like Motorola or whatever and be able to give me access to apps. But I found that it's not, at least not currently. So I had somebody ask in one of my videos, see if I can get my face here. Use Magic Mirror to get my apps to work on the outer screen. Magic Mirror is one of these things where you can add apps, but to add apps, they have to be like these Chinese apps. So when I come in here and say I want to add some apps, there's no apps for me to add because none of the apps in my lineup fit things that they would allow on their Magic Mirror manager. So currently, I am still stuck with the apps <laughs> that are out here. Now, I did delete a lot of the bloatware off this phone. So I'm able to record phone calls, pictures, alarm, calendar, makeup, which is kind of funny, and magic mirror. Now the kind of funny thing about the makeup, and this might be more of a women's thing than a men's thing, is that you can put makeup on yourself without putting makeup on yourself. It pulls up the camera and you're in the camera and you can say, hey, I want to put lipstick on. You pick the color and everything else. Once you do all that, you can take a picture and you look like somebody else. <laughs> so that's 
kind of different, but I guess that's the way things are going in life these days with a lot of people not wanting to look like themselves. It's another version of a filter, I would say, to where you can put on lipstick and things to see if you want to look like that or you want to wear that shade of look, uh, lipstick or eyeshadow or whatever. But the outer screen is, it's not that it's non-functional, it's just not functional the way I would like it. It's just a week. Give me some more time to work around the internet and see what I can find. Maybe I'll find a workaround. But for now, just the weekend, I don't have a workaround yet. Battery life is decent. Like I said, it's harder for me to do a side-by-side -side with this and the Oppo Flip because they're both flips. And typically I'm carrying a flip and a bigger foldable device. When carrying a bigger foldable device, you usually defer to using things like Twitter and email and things of that nature on the bigger phone. I didn't mind so much texting here, but I found myself since I'm using this as the device that I'm like, oh, okay, I'll get on Twitter here versus getting over on the Oppo and using it some too. I'm sure I will deal with the same scenario when getting the Pixel Fold because I will be using it alongside the Oppo Find N2. So stay tuned for that whenever I get the Pixel. To me, Vivo has always been like King Supreme when it comes to customization. So just make sure if you like super customized phone, you go in and test out all of the things that you would like for like when you get, get a call and it comes in, do you want your whole screen taken over? All of mine just come right here at the top. So if I'm in the middle of something, I can finish that tweet. I can finish that text message, then take the call. Speaking of which, I have a text message. <laughs> Let me give you a plus. Unlike my Vivo, X Fold, this phone gets RCS. Yay! Yes, RCS works on this phone with a caveat. So when I go to send a picture, you know, pictures were the issue before. When I go to send the picture the first time, it'll go through like it's gonna send it and it'll give me the error. You just tap it again and send and it goes right through. I'm gonna work on that too and see if I can figure out what, you know, cause it has to be a hang up somewhere. It, because the picture actually goes through at some point. If the picture wasn't going through at all, it'd be kind of different, but for the picture to go through at a later time, it's just like, why do I have to hit the button just to push it through? Like it should push through when I send it. And that's just on RCS. So when I go on and I'm sending it to somebody like per se on an iPhone, if I'm sending it to an iPhone device, the picture goes right through. So it's definitely an RCS thing. And I don't know where the hiccup is happening to where I have to just hit it again and say, send it versus delete it. Cause you know, when it says it doesn't go through, it says either you can delete it or resend. So you hit the resend and it goes through. So yay for RCS on the Vivo X Flip. Shout out to Hector. He's been on the channel before and I always enjoy his questions. So this is something I've covered with other people as well. Is there any way to insure these phones here in the States? Because you know, you can't put them on a sure on and all these other things. You can insure. There's a couple of routes you can go to get insurance on imported devices. You know, Square Trade is one of the ways that you can insure your phone. And off the top of my head, I can't think of the other one, but um, I'll look it up and let you know and include it in this video. I also wanna cover payment plans. Now, it's not your traditional payment plan where you can add it on through your carrier and pay for like a billion months, which I don't think is healthy anyway. A lot of people say if you can't afford to pay for a device flat out, you should not be paying for it. I can agree and disagree with this because to me, if I'm going through Gistop, Wanda Mobile, either one of those, typically if I'm using PayPal, you can do a pay in four. Pay in four is like you're breaking up the payments in four equal payments every two weeks. So you make the initial payment, two weeks later, two weeks later, two weeks later, then you're done. That gets you to pay the phone off in two months. Now I do think if you can't, you don't have the budget sense to get it paid off in two months, you probably don't need to be getting the phone. And that's not a blow at anybody personally. I can pay for the phone flat out, but I'd rather break it up between four paychecks. So it's just like a piece of every paycheck. And growing up, my mother said, you should always get yourself something every paycheck. Maybe not a phone, <laughs> but you should get yourself something nice. That way, you know you're not working for no reason, but you should not be going to buy a car every paycheck. You should get yourself a little something nice every paycheck. Keep that in mind. Kimmy told you that one, but I got it from my mama. Another point I'd like to touch on is that 
these import devices are starting to work on Verizon. Well, I constantly get the question, hey, do these work on AT&T? I have no means of testing them out on AT&T or Verizon, but if you check my homeboy out, Barry Johnson, he has a Verizon SIM, and typically if you slide it in one of these phones, he has an Oppo right now, and I think a Xiaomi. You slide it into the phone and you put the APN settings in, it works like a charm. AT&T, I typically don't recommend to people just because you could be working today and not working tomorrow. I have T-Mobile, I have Mint Mobile. These phones work on both of those. They are both T-Mobiles. You're safe with those. I can't guarantee the others, but again, I've seen it in action um, with Barry Johnson. It works just fine if you have the right APN settings. When it comes to vertical versus horizontal, it's personal preference. For me, now you have like the newest update that's coming with this one will let you run these apps on the outer screen with this phone but look how long it took you know so i'm saying give this phone some time and we'll probably be right there with this phone as well i think my preference still is gonna lie over here even though i was in awe when this one first came out because it reminded me of a smaller version of a phone so if they had set this up to where when i pulled this up this screen looked like this one it would have been different but for my enjoyment, I am enjoying this little screen here and I guess it brings me back to my razor days. I've sold my razor so I no longer have it, but I'm glad I did. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm, I'm trying to clean out phones. I'm getting ready to try to get my Xiaomi up out of here before my Pixel Fold gets here. Needless to say, I'm a fan of the, and I'm hoping it's not a honeymoon stage, I'm a fan of this phone over the oppo just form factor wise because the oppo feels a little chunkier the vivo feels a little thinner and it feels better in hand and same goes for like the outer screen i think the oppo is just it's nice it's a different kind of quirky design but the vivo is just like more of that motorola i enjoyed just have them across the page and it looks just normal. So this was a quick one week in with the Vivo X Flip. I've enjoyed it for this first week. I plan to get you your questions answered soon on this phone. Give me another couple weeks on that one. Got a couple other videos to slide in in between, but you know me, I don't keep a phone for a couple weeks. I keep phones for months. Hope to catch you on the next video for this. If you haven't checked out the uh, carbon fiber case video. I will plug that here so you can get some of that action because I really am loving this case. It really has hold, held up well. I'm considering getting a backup. Yes, I love it that much. But this is the only case I need. This is the way I feel unless, hey, you're a case company out there and you got something you want me to try. Thank you for stopping by the channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, click the like button. If you've enjoyed multiple videos on this channel, you might want to consider subscribing. Subscriptions are free, memberships cost, and memberships have privileges. If you'd like to know what those privileges are, click on the join button and it'll tell you what each tier has to offer you. I thank you for your time because time is money and I hope to catch you on my next video. Hi!